Of your way and take care of every tree one by one. My name is Otto Shale, I'm an artist. The fact that you're doing art on the street, you're, you're giving a gift to the society. You just spoke with someone yesterday? No, no, you didn't speak with anybody. This is my wall and that's got to come off. And we've just had to... In the suburbs, where people, where guys are uh, injecting the heroin, the artists are making good art, people start coming to take pictures, and they, they are addicted, they, they disappear. In this religion, I, I found the answers of all my questions I ever had. Professor Mark Segwick has been studying the growth of Islam in Europe for two decades. So if there's someone in love, real love, then he infects many others. So there is Westerners, they have fallen in love. And they infect, of course, Westerners. And I saw them, how they um, treat other people. And I saw that they had wisdom in their heart, you know. I had such a strong feeling in my heart. At this um, moment, I didn't know so much about Islam. And when I'm praying, I feel in peace. It starts from the heart and, and then there will come a happiness. Also ich wurde ja auch angeguckt mit so einem Blick, äh, wie lässt du deine Tochter rumlaufen? Eigentlich nicht, ne? It's not so important who are you anymore. It's more that you're in the group and you remember in God, you know? Sadaf fled from Afghanistan in 2001 when she was 13 years old. For a while I felt as if I wasn't, am I being a really good person? Afghan girl, or am I being a very integrated Afghan Danish girl? Mm -hmm. And um, I guess I was trying too hard to be both in this world and in that world, and um, I, I just felt as if, oh God, I have to choose one of them. Sadaf and her husband almost never wear their native clothes outside the home. Because maybe some people do it, but I did it because just all the people look so you sh just pick shame. <laughs> so why? About 15,000 Afghans are living in Denmark. They, um, maybe if I could decide, I wanted to get them more together. Like uh, we have groups where both the uh, Afghan, Danish and Somalian people are represented. But they like to keep close together with their own kinds, if you can tell it like that. In Denmark, uh, they are not like uh, social. They are in the school, you are friends, but outside they didn't, don't know you, so it's like this. My name is Marisha Doyle. My granddad was from Krakow in Poland, and he was a freedom fighter. 
during the Second World War. If you look at the principle, you, you want to probably to forgive, but you don't want to forget. Not, not only Poles uh, uh, lost a lot of people, uh, just look at Jewish diaspora, or look at Russians. And at the end of the war, a massive amount of Poles didn't have a home to go to because the eastern territory of Poland, the big towns of Lviv and Vilno, become part of the Soviet Union. Basically, uh, Stalin annexed those territories with full agreement of Roosevelt and, sadly, Churchill. London has always been a, been a good town for us. Uh, I think that the, the first show we played here was, was a long, long time ago, back in 1984. 